Right, everyone, I'm Fletcher here. Right, this is going to be a review or overview of the HX Outdoors D153, which, as far as I'm aware, is a a copy, but not a clone, just a similar copy of a CRKT Journeyer, which they've discontinued. So here's the box, won't bore you with that. And then here is the knife. And the most interesting thing about this knife is it's a slip joint with an optional lock which the Jania had so this is it quite a small knife it would be technically legal carry in the UK because it's under three inch blade and it's a slip joint but like I said it has the optional lock so beware if you have the the optional lock mechanism on it, it could be illegal but I'll explain that later or in another video so this is it like I said slip joint one handed opening and quite an interesting design so let's just go over the blade first there's the blade HX Outdoors bastard halibut can't quite see that D2 steel, instead of thumb studs, it's got the sort of thumb hole. I don't know what you describe it as a thumb hole, I suppose. Yeah. Finger choil, makes it safe when using it, you know, because your finger will be in, in a position to stop the blade closing on your hand. Got some jimping at the back there. So, like I said, no. It's a slip joint with an optional lock. The optional lock is just here. And it is the little Torx screw Allen key. Take that out. It's held in there by a magnet. So what you do, you take it out. And then you put it in just like that. And now that blade is locked in place. So that's what I mean by optional lock. Because uh, you, what you could do if you wanted to is take that away and put it somewhere else not on the knife. To remove this, if your fingers are small enough, you can get your finger in and pull it out. Just pull it out. Sometimes I find just pressing on the end of the, the Allen key there just presses it out a little bit more so you can get hold of it. And again, that is held in with a magnet in there. If you look, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but there's a magnet in there anyway. Same as down the other end. These finger grooves, I wasn't sure about them at first, but when I held the knife, they, your fingers do actually fit perfectly into them. Look. Doesn't look like they're gone, but they actually do. Nice, comfortable knife. Hardness of the blade is 58 HRC, D2 steel like I said. The blade is 2 and 3 quarter inches, so it's definitely under the 3 inch limit, or 6.8 centimetres. It is 3.5 centimetres wide, 7 centimetres open, and 10 centimetres closed. You can see the finger grooves there. Blade is nicely centred. Pocket clip is a nice deep carry. All you'd see is just that end, a little bit sticking out. And it is removable and reversible. So you can, this would be a left handed and a right handed knife. So just put the lock back in. You know, and depending on what people know about the knife, they may never ever suspect that, say, that can be used as a lock. Because it is just an Allen key, you know, you can just say it's the torque screw key to tighten up the, uh, the pivot and that. And people might never know that it would go in there. But, like I said, if you wanted to, you can just remove that, put it in your wallet, put it somewhere else, you know. 
Sharpness, it, it was sharp, it was paper cutting sharp. G10 scales, still inner liners there, sort of hidden inside. Weight is 230 grams. So, you know, it's, it's not very heavy. It's what you'd expect for this kind of uh, knife. Open pillar construction there. Not sure what this is on the end. What that would be used for. It looks like a big screwdriver, flat screwdriver, but I don't think so. Not really sure. Might just be decorative. Yeah. If you want a slip joint with an optional lock, is definitely the way to go and it's only £14.53p for gear best. I'll add a link below and uh, I'll add a discount code if I can. As for blade play there's no blade play at all. Fit and finish is very nice. Yeah highly recommended this because what I would do, I would just take that Allen key off, like I said, put it in your wallet or something. I'll do another video later showing something I think would be perfect to do with this and this. But for now, I'll just leave this at a normal review. So there may be an annotation comes up to um, go to the other video describing why this would be a good legal carry UK knife or in other places, you know. So yeah, that is it. That is the Haytex Outdoors D153 Bastard Halibut slip joint knife with an optional lock. Highly recommended. Right, so all the inf any info I haven't mentioned or forgot will be in the uh, more info section below. The links will be below and the um, coupon code and all that, you know, all the usual stuff. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found this helpful. And I hope you found a good new knife option. Right, see you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearbest. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.